Hey everyone, it's Steve from TelescopeTuners.com. Today we'll be doing a little video on Pixinsight, which as many of us know is probably a little on the confusing side, maybe a little scary for some of us, but don't worry, it's really not that difficult to work with once you get through all the, the confusing terminology and, and numbers on it. It's really, it's really a great program to work with, uh, and like I say, a very powerful program. Today we'll be going through creating an LRGB or an RGB photo from a monochrome camera. Now I wasn't quite sure how to do this when I first started doing monochrome. Uh, a little confused by the whole process I guess. But it really isn't that difficult to do and uh, we'll be walking you through that. So why don't we jump into Pixinsight and get started. Alright, so we're in Pixinsight here. The first thing we need to do is open up our files. So let's go to our finder here. I'll go to uh, M31 Mosaic. I should mention that this is actually going to be one of four images that we will be putting together in the next video, which will be creating a mosaic of M31 using Pixinsight as well. Um, now, we'll open these up. You see I've got one, two, three, and four. Uh, and in the first pane, I have a blue, I have a green, I have a luminance, and I have a red. Now each one of these files I have already stacked um, using Pixinsight, I have already stacked them so there were, I believe it was only three images per channel which really is not enough but I was kinda eager to see a result and see whether this worked and I was impatient, what can I say? I think we all are sometimes and uh, I will be adding more data to this in the future but for right now this is what we're working with so let's start by selecting all of these files and I'll just drag them into Pixinsight here alright so we have a red luminance green and blue uh, files here now what I'll do is I'm just going to stretch up here which stretches the image out and we can see the actual data that we'll be working with and as you can see we're all in the upper left hand quadrant of this mosaic so the next thing we need to do is combine all of these files you can go into processes all processes and you go to channel combination this will give you the option to do RGB so you can create a color image or you can go down to uh, LRGB combination, which is what we're going to do in this case, because we do have the luminance data as well. So we're going to open up LRGB. Now, really a very simple process. Click on this button, open up your luminance, hit OK. For the red channel, open up the red for the green channel, you guessed it, we're going to do the green. And for the blue channel, let's open up the blue. All you got to do is apply this globally, and it will spit out a color image for us. You see, it takes a little bit as it's working away. And just like that, we have a color image of the one quarter of the Andromeda galaxy. Now, Pretty, I'm just going to close this window down. Pretty easy to do. And uh, now you start working with this like any other color image. And I have another video which goes through some of the basic processing techniques of working with images. Uh, you can check that out as well. But that's how simple it is to create an LRGB. And actually, I will show you just so that you can see this as well um, the channel combination which again the same exact process just so you know it's nothing different uh, you select the red channel green channel we're just not selecting I'm going to select the blue channel here we're just not selecting the uh, luminance data in this one and that's simple and we have an RGB image without the luminance data so really very very easy to work with um, that's it for today guys, I hope you uh, found this helpful, and uh, check out the next video where we'll be building a mosaic of M31. Cheers guys, have a great day.